How many of you out there have gone hungry and feel like weird or uh, angry when you're hungry? Well, these beautiful, beautiful children, without your help out there, Cecile and these great children here can't have a good life. Well, you need it. Why don't you try it? You like try it? Yeah, you try it. Yeah, but show me your muscles. Show me your muscles. Look, here, show me this one. Wow, good job. You ready? Jump. Wow! There's a little boy in here before he went into foster care and, and he would eat out of the trash can. He, he, he doesn't know for it. And, and, you know, as you say, we've got some behavioral challenges. If there's no support system and you guys out there, including me, have the responsibility as adults to find the funding and make it work for Cecile and her staff. Otherwise, these great kids have nowhere to go, no future. So, tell me this, anybody can answer this. What food do you like to eat at home? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Me too. Me you like spaghetti too? too? Um, oh. me, I, I like cheese. You like cheese? I like green vegetables. What green vegetables? Like can you it. name me a green vegetable? Is it uh, lettuce? Is it, I know, I know. what is it? Meatball? That's not green. Yeah, that's a tomato. It's just green. It'll turn red eventually when it's ready. And this is a baby squash. Can you see that baby squash there? Yeah. That's a squash, squash flower, look. And you can eat them. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Look at that baby squash. It's almost as small as you guys. This is the working poor that can't afford to feed themselves, but they can put some food into their kids. Cecile and her staff here do an amazing job of feeding them. Not only feeding them, you know, one or two meals, but giving them snacks and trying to educate their parents into how to feed them correctly. You've got a grant, you told me earlier that you're working on for, for new projects, which is great within the food industry type. Well, what we need to do here is we really need to write grants for specific um, food and nutritional projects because um, our USDA program provides the basics. If we want the glitz and the glitter, we have to go out and look for the funding. They have not changed this menu since 1996. We're in 2011. Think about that. If you go to a restaurant and you have a menu since uh, 20 years plus old, 25 years old, what would you think? <laughs> what we have here is a, is a menu that's set by um, social services here. Um, and they have literally broke it down to, oh, you know, we need this type of protein. But it's not necessarily um, the type of food that children would eat at home uh, or we want to serve them. 130 children are here and they get fed, they get schooled, they get playtime, they get great attention. Bluffton is old, it needs help. It's only probably going to be around for another five or six years, but just think what we can do in five or six years if we give them the money to do that. You know, change the things. Give her the equipment she needs. Give her the fresh food and the money to buy that fresh food that she needs. It's an amazing uh, thing to look around and, and see so many happy, smiling faces, but it's due to Cecile and her staff. But they need money to be able to do these programs. We need to make sure they find that money somewhere, somehow. You know, charity begins at home. This is home right here. Without that money, these programs close and children on the streets.